Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Mother 3. Right, we're starting off in the new facade battle because this is where I left off in the last episode and I died horribly and tragically. But not today because I'm actu I've actually w went ahead and did some grinding and now we're all like in the level 40s. So I think Lucas is level 46, Sharon is level 45. Ness is 41 and Bonnie is something like 43 or something so we all pr we are we are all pretty high from high level from what we was in the last episode because we were in our 30s in the last episode like Lucas was level 37 or something and well we're gonna see if this makes a difference and see if we can actually beat this guy this time right so what we want to do here is go defense up Omega no wait defense yeah defense up Omega and um, Sharon can then go ahead and use uh, defense down, defense down Omega, which is pretty good actually. She learnt that too um, off screen when I went grinding, so that's also something cool. Uh, the hypno pendulum, I think that makes the person, the enemy, fall asleep. So I'm going to try that out. And uh, Bonnie can go ahead and just um, manual attack because she hasn't got any more pencil rockets. So yeah, that's not good. Oh, it didn't work on new facade. Didn't put him to sleep. Decreased by 15. Nah, that's not much, but... Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he needs to use that defense Omega pretty quickly. <laughs> so hopefully that should boost our defense by quite a lot. 16, 14, and 18. Well, that's, the, that's even better. Um, right, so... Now we want to use offense up Omega. Oh crap. She can't remember any PSI skills. I don't know how you get rid of that, but um What does the silver dragon fly do? The alarm cicada and some double beef jerky. Hmm. Does she have any healing moves? Oh no, she can't. God, she can't. But she's the one that really needs to use the PSI because she knows all the fire techniques and stuff. And if Lucas dies, then well, I don't know. His shield vanished. That's good. That's actually really good. I hope that, um... Wait. Oh, she's got... T she's still got two of the same... Um status elements really she can have crying and she can have that move that or that ailment that will allow her to stop using PSI well that kind of sucks so I'm gonna use life up whatever that is and he keeps on attacking Lucas which is really strange I don't know why he's always attacking Lucas he hasn't attacked any of my other people yet So, oh, Bonnie just got attacked. Um, right, so I'm going to use healing if I have... Yeah, I have healing Omega. Well, I th no, not Omega. Heal healing Gamma. So I'll use healing Gamma on Sharon. And uh, just keep on. Actually, no, she can... Oh, no, she can't. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. All right, she can't do anything until Ness uses... No, not Ness. Lucas uses healing Gamma. So she was healed completely. Right, okay. At least that... Gets rid of that stupid freaking ailment. Right, I'm just going to go out with some attacks here, I think. And um, I want her to decrease his defense one more time. And we should be okay. Like, I don't know how much HP this guy has. But um, I think he has a fair amount. He'll obviously have more than the Mecha Gorilla, but that wasn't too bad. The Mecha Gorilla fight. Um, life up beta. And she can... Uh, what should she do now? Offense down? Yeah, let's go with offense down. Omega. Ooh, his, his offense decreased by 32. So yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> a whole bunch of bombs. Well, that's not going to make a difference, unfortunately. Um, crap. 
Should I life up or should I just go out? No, I'm gonna life up here. On um, let's see who's took the most damage. Well, I'm not really too bothered about Bonnie as such, but more or less Sharon needs the all the healing and stuff. So I'm gonna get um, Lucas healed too, and have those two attack. Oh, are you kidding me? No, that is that is bull hell. You can't go eating luxury bananas, man. What is shield? Well, let's let's put shield on us and see what that does. I'm just being experiment. I'm just experimenting here and seeing what stuff does. Seeing what stuff can actually assist us in this fight. So. Enveloped by a shield. Enveloped by a shield. So all our bodies are now enveloped by shield. So, and it's also Omega shield, which is good. Um, I'm gonna run out of PP by the end of this battle. I'm telling you. All right. Okay. Love. How about we try fire? Uh, let's see what fire does. Yeah. Well, the shield should protect us, dude. What? Well, that didn't do much. Holy crap. Um, life up on this. If I die, I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> Come on! He's just as worse as that freaking robot in Thunder Tower keep on healing himself like that. That's ridiculous. Can only use Al first, unfortunately. Um. Oh, he's dead, finally. Whew. Okay, we actually did manage to beat him, with a fair amount of HP left too, but we was running a bit low on the PP scenario, but we pulled through, which is good. I thought I wasn't actually going to pull through that, but wow, uh, whopping 11,121 EXP. Yay, that's sweet. Oh, well, Lucas was level 44 and he's now level 45, but so yeah... It just goes to show that grinding sometimes does help out a lot because it increases your stats and things. So, yeah. How do you like those apples? <laughs> I followed by he <laughs> he uh, Followed by who? Well, who cares? We're going to free this needle. Facade also says, I will humbly make you pay for this. And he says it with intense emotion. I believe it is an anger-filled emotion. Well, who cares? He can go cry to his mommy for all I care. And you can get out of here too. I'm not battling you. Well, that concludes my interpretation session. Yes, and we succeeded in that interpretation session. So, yay. Let's pull this needle out and have done with it. Pull the needle? Yes. Fear me! I am the Lord of Needles. I will pull this and the world will be saved. Well, or close to being saved. Because we still have more needles to pull, unfortunately. Well, I think we've got like four, no, not four more, like one more or two more needles left to pull. Because uh, he did say seven, so. I mean, w w a few of them have already been pulled out already. Like the one in the Oso Castle has been pulled. Um, the one outside the Chimera Lab has been pulled. Um, and now this one, I think. No, there was one in the um, Snow Cap Mountain, and then it was this one. So yeah, that's four of them, I think. Something w awoke inside Lucas. PK Love, oh, me PK Love Gamma, are you serious? Well, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, who's this? Ghost? Oh no, it's the... Um, it's the Majipsy disappearing. Gasp, pants. 
I thought it would get pulled while I was asleep, but I saw it. I saw the needle get pulled. That leaves three more left. Unlike the other Magypsies, I'm very detail-oriented. I tell it, I'll tell you about the needles then, and then disappear. So where's our next one? One needle is on Tantini Island or Taintain Island, south of Tasmili. I believe Mixolydia, Mixolydia or something is protecting it. Another needle is in Chip Chuppy Chup. What the heck is that name? <laughs> Chuppy Chupio or what? I don't know. Chuppy Chupio. A uh, temple deep inside the Oriander Mountains. I believe Iona is protecting it. I think you already know this, of course, but it is said that the heart of whoever pulls the needle is needles is passed on to the Dark Dragon. Instill the power of power, the darkness of darkness, and the light of light into your spirit. Let me peer into your eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. I wrote down everything I just told you in this secret notebook. Take it with you. Oh, we will, with great pleasure. I uh, got Fyriger's uh, notebook. And one, and one other one. The needle is said to be sticking out of the Dark Dragon's head. I can't seem to locate it at all. Nor Loc Locria, who is supposed to protect that particular needle. I'm so picky about details, yet I have no idea where they are. Having to disappear without finding out, it's a little bit sad. Please don't forgive me. Uh, no, please don't forget me. Forgive me? Forgive you for what? Here is the memento of me, a razor and lipstick. Please take good care of them, okay? Why would I want to take those? I'm not a gypsy. I don't want to dress like a gypsy either. Receive Fire Grisman memento. I don't know. These gypsies have some weird names. Anyway, he disappears into a ball and disseparates. You can expect to see mo more of me in your dreams from now on. Giggle, goodbye. Well, that's one with Gypsy down, so we got to go find the rest of them. Um, one said that uh, there was one deep inside the Oriander Mountains, one in a tower, and one an on an island. Do we have to go and get those in any order that we want, or do we have to get them in a certain order? I don't know. Well, these things are weak anyway, so what's the point in fighting these? An unwanted kiss. <laughs> Man, you just got rejected. Yeah, you got friends zone, bitch. Alright, so let's get out of here. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do, uh, do in here. Wait, no, that's just going to take me around again. Don't want to go in that cave. And you can run straight through these enemies now, because we're grossly overpowered right now. Well, for this area anyway, for some reason Sharon started to feel feverish. And the bad thing is that now we can't run past any enemies because we are now starting to feel feverish. Oh, I'm going to cut this out. Yeah, I cut that battle out because I didn't want to show any un un unnecessary battles that I've already showed you previously before. So anyway, the um, Sharon and Lucas are starting to feel feverish. Um, Sharon's fever went away. And then PK fire gamma. Oh god, there's another battle coming up here as well. Uh, PSI shield omega. Was it Gamma that I used for shield? I don't know. Anywho, all that I do know is that we need to go and find a hot spring immediately before we die because we are ridiculously low on PP. I cannot really recover anyone as such. Uh, only Sharon can use PSI because she's the one with the most PP, whereas Lucas doesn't have that much PP left. Right, so I'm going to save it here with the frog. Um, so yeah, let's make a save. Probably transfer some DP. Look at that. I was level 36 when we last saved at the frog. Or the last time we made a save with the frog, I was level 36. So I did gain quite a few levels. Um, I need to get some DP. What? <laughs> oh my god. That much DP? That's insane, dude. Th 39,296. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Holy crap. No, I'm not. I don't need anything from you. I don't need anything from you. Go away. Go back to playing Frogger. Alright, so. Look at that. It's, it's, it's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, let's go and uh, see what's inside the. Um, shell. Oh wait, huh, there's a magic, but magic butterfly here. So we're gonna get some PP back from this. Poor I, poor Fiagria or whatever his name was. Can't really pronounce your name, dude. I'm sorry. 
Uh, we, yeah, uh, I didn't really get a good look at this, so... If he can give us anything. Because considering we got the DP and stuff... Um, well, Lucas can't buy anything, his inventory must be full. Well, Sharon can't buy anything, because her inventory must be full. So, Sincerity Dumplings. Dumplings made with the Mole Cricket Sincerity restores 100 HP. Anti-paralysis, just the thing for numbness. Sour, but it really does the trick. Um, the paper fan, the recollection bell, and flea powder. Alright, so what I want to do is buy some Sincerity Dumplings. So let's get a bunch of these. And, um, some more Sincerity Dumplings, because <laughs> I have the money. Money. Ah, oh, sugar, sugar. Wait, no, that's honey. Honey. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> I said money, sugar, sugar. It's not money, it's honey. What am I doing? I was going to buy something else, but uh, nothing really appeals to me uh, that he's offering us. It's honey, do 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 ah oh, sugar sugar, not money. Right, where's the hot spring? I need to go in the hot spring and revitalize my soul once again, so then I can get everything back to normal, the way it was supposed to be. Right, the hot spring's down here, isn't it? I thought it was up there, but no, it's all the way down here. Right, so I have no idea where we're going to be heading next, seriously. Like, uh, he's saying that we got to go to Mount Oriander, the tower, and the island, but how are we going to get to the island south from Tasmili? There is no port in Tasmili. There is no boat transportation um, in Tasmili, apart from the boat that we used to get to Oso Castle, whether that is the same boat we have to use to get to the island south of Tasmili, I have no idea. So I guess the best thing to do is just... Well, I want to cut the journey, but I'm not sure. Oh, hang on a second. Speaking of cutting, I'm not going to cut. There's a cut scene. And here comes a flying pig UFO. What are you going to do? Oink for us? Oink, oink, oink. No, he uh, dropped a poop ball. A piggy thing. Whoa. Oh, come on, you butt munches. That's, that's unfair. You blocked our access. The only way out of ta the only way out of Saturn Valley. How are we going to get out now then? Will we know teleportation? PSI tele. What was it called? Telepathy in Earthbound. Yeah, telepathy. The tunnel has been destroyed. Does this mean we can't leave the village? Let's ask the Mr. Satins if there's any other way to get outside. Okay, so we're going to have to speak to the Satins and hopefully they can aid us into the right direction. Mantis looks like this way. Scary. Okay. We all know Mantis is scary because they are cannibalistic, but whatever. Hi, hi, hi. You come buying. No, I don't want to buy anything from you. You can go away. Alright, so let's speak to this guy. Come again. What is come again? Hi, hi, hi. Um, While well, these are all merchants, this is like a shop. I don't want to buy anything from here. Well, actually, hang on a second. This guy sells those pendants, correct? Well, we have plenty of PP now, so and she has, and he um sells a Selvol, Sel, Sevolg, or whatever that is, a Sevolg, and that's basically a glove for Sharon. Whether that increases her offense, which it probably will, I'm gonna drop the handy yo-yos if I need one of those anymore. <coughs> so we're gonna go ahead and buy the Sevolg. Actually, I should clear her inventory out because she also needs a pendant too. I think. Um, whether a pendant gets rid of her current status item. Uh, she has a warm sweater which could be removed. She has a white ribbon and a cancer bracelet. Which, uh, the cancer bracelet is pretty good. Uh, he still has the Aquarius bracelet. That's not good. The Aquarius bracelet is one of the crappiest defense items in this game. Or crappiest, not crappest. Crappest doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's sell something for her, like the... Made you look, whatever that does. And, uh, we can go ahead and buy her the Savolg. And we can equip that now. And sell the... 
Yeah. Now we'll get the ice pendant for. Her. No, not the ice pendant. We wanted the flame pendant, dude. The flame pendant. Yes. Equip the flame pendant. Sell the one sweater. Alright, so now she's got the flame pendant. And Bonnie. I don't know if Bonnie can equip a pendant. Oh, Bonnie can actually buy the funny stick. I think. A stick that... Yeah, but I don't know if anyone can equip it. That's the funny thing. Calms the spirit. Um, barefoot shoes. That's uh, for him, but I'm not going to buy anything for... Can we buy a thunder pen? Oh, he can actually... Bonnie can actually equip the thunder pen. And... The black collar... No, I won't sell that just in case um, if one is more uh, better in defense than the other. Uh, well, I think I'm okay for now. I don't really want to bother buying the funny stick if I can't equip it. Well, what does Lucas have anyway? He has the handy yo-yo. Bonnie's defense is now 76. I swear his defense was better when he had um, the I'm not sure right hang on a second equip right okay we can equip all right uh, is the black collar better yes the black collar is better right I just wanted to make sure huh? so I can basically sell the um, Thunder Pendant. So we're gonna sell the Thunder Pendant because we don't need that if he's um, not gonna benef if there's no beneficial reason to keep it in there because there really isn't. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. Uh, so let's sell the Funny Stick and we can get 1,200 from it. And we want to buy something for Lucas which will be the Funny Stick. But we've got to sell something for Lucas, so we're going to sell a pork stew. And then we're going to buy the funny stick for Lucas. And can, he can equip it. So we can sell the handy yo yo. Thank God for that, right. Now we're actually getting somewhere. A boing ribbon, a Leo bandana, a rail bandana. Oh, I didn't see this stuff. Honey shower, attack attractor, a Leo bracelet, a Leo zodiac sign. Hmm. Well, I guess. Well, there is so much stuff I can do here. I don't know whether to quit, to like, s skip this. Well, actually I will, I'll make a cut, so I'll see you once I've been um, fully equipped and then I'll show you which stuff I bought for which character, so I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, well, this is what I bought. I bought the Leo bracelet for Lucas, which increases defense um, by a lot too. I bought the funny stick for Lucas, because Lucas could equip it instead of having the handy yo-yo. I bought the Sevolg, I think I showed that on screen, I bought the Leo bracelet for Sharon and the Boeing ring ribbon for Sharon. I bought the Rail Bandana for, for Ness and the Leo bracelet for Ness 2 and um, basically Bonnie has the same as what she had before so that's um, all of us equipped up to uh, the maximum, well the best that we can be equipped at right now so what we gotta do is speak to the Mr. Saturn so hopefully they can tell us which direction we need to go. Roasted barley powder. Tasty. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, not sit, not scary, not si uh, That's what you said before, isn't it? We'll watch Mantis. What's it with you guys and Mantises, seriously? Like, seriously. <laughs> you always come from now on. Um, well, I'm trapped here. I want to get out. I don't want to come back here ever again. We all good friends. All everyone. Because you guys have some weird text. <laughs> Oh, what's the surprise? Wow, wow, wow. Well, I actually do like this place. I like the music and things. Because it's kind of wacky. It's like it's like the kind of music you wouldn't hear in a normal video game, almost. Well, Earthbound is like that. So Potential. And because of that, it makes it creative. No, want to catch any more. Mantis, I don't know. Pig reason. Broke tunnel and left. Oh, is there any other way to leave besides this tunnel? We call it birdies. Lots of birdies for flying vehicle, but not enough birdies yet. Maybe one more. We're gonna fly using birds? Uh, I guess so. 
Have map give at you. Oh, thank you. So we got a Saturn Valley map. Sweet. Birdies run if you chase. Wait, and birdies come. Patience, patience, then the catch. So we got catch birds. And this is the map of... Well, that's a very unique map of Saturn Valley. Uh, this is just a one big massive black line. One birdie more. One birdie more. One birdie more. Fishing for birdie. What, are they all fishing for birds now? With balloons? Right, so we got to sneak up on these. I guess these are the guys. Catch the bird? Yeah. You caught a bird! Yay! Right, I, I don't know if these things actually fly off. You're already holding a bird. Right, okay. So if I'm holding a bird, what do I do with it? Uh, do I let it go? Hmm. I don't know, I can't run though, that's the problem. Do I just go back to the village now? And, or into this place? Catch a birdie? Ha hand it over the bird. Use birdies to make good thing. You wait in hot spring. Right, has that bird came back now? Um, let's see. Oh, there's one here. Catch the bird. Oh, I guess you could just keep going back in and back out again and get as many birds as you can. Because you need four birds, not three birds. You need four birds for each party member. And come back and give it to... You wait in hot spring. Wait, what? Did he say you wait in hot spring? Right, okay, let's go wait in the hot spring then. See what happens. Um, right. If we have to keep going back and forth to the hot spring, that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, but I don't think you have to keep going back in. Because he might do something with a bird, I don't know. I'm going to have to end off the video pretty shortly. Made everyone feel alive again. I feel alive. Like I never did before. <laughs> wow, it's 8.30 already. Exactly 8.30. Smack bang. 8.30pm. Time goes fast when you're having fun. Alright, so, is it this house or is it, um, well let me check this house, no it's not this house, it's the one right next to the pond, which will be up here. Use birdies to make good thing, you wait in hot spring, I did just wait in the hot spring, what else do you want me to do? I literally waited in the hot spring and nothing happened. Nothing at all. <laughs> Wait, there was a Mr. Saturn up there, wasn't there? I don't know if he says anything about the birds, but we'll go see. Where go? There, there, there. KO. KO. We are all us. Well, that helps a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks for the information, dude. I mean, I'm trying to look for birds, and then you all go say some random stuff that makes no sense. Inside hot spring, but have coffee, yes. Also, we're having a coffee break. Oh man, I don't know how long this is going to take, but... Yeah, we got another coffee break with the Mr. Saturns, and then after this I might end off the video and then find out some other things, or find out what we got to do exactly. No one is simply born strong. People only grow stronger little by little by encountering difficult situations and learning not to run from them, no matter how frightening or daunting they may be. Lucas, that is exactly what you have done to grow strong. However, you, do, you, you did not do it yourself. You grew strong for those who you would otherwise be unable to help. 
They are the reason you are strong. Even now you occasionally show a glimpse of a Lucas fleeting images of that once pampered crybaby boy can sometimes be seen in your smile. You've come a very long way. There's no telling what to expect from here on out. But if one thing is certain, it's that those who believe in you will be right there to help. Trust in them. Now go forth to wor toward whatever stands out the most in your eyes. Go facing not the darkness, but the light. Lucas and his companions. You have driven the enemy into a corner. The enemy's back is to the wall. There is nothing to fear now. Everyone is watching on which on with complete faith in you in their hearts. They all say thank you. Can you hear them? <laughs> no, I can't. I just hear the music. Uh, maybe the music might be a secret call, but who knows? I guess we will never know. I like the background, like the way how it the way how it pans in and then pans down and then pans in. Like the diamonds, they go in, then go out. Gives that kind of illusion. Gives that kind of um, optical illusion effect. Well, trippy effect, should I say? Did I do the right thing here by um, speaking to this guy? I think I did actually. <laughs> so we obviously did something right. I polish bull things to sparkly thing. You wound up giving your courage badge to miss to the Mr. Satin. I make sparkly and give back. I make sparkly. Birdie eat birdie cage done. So we can go now? Sweet, we've done something then. <laughs> okay. Well thanks for the coffee break, mister. You really helped us out a lot there. Right, so in the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3, we shall be going to the birdie cage and getting the hell out of this popsicle stand. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care everybody. See you on my next video. This is NDM saying thanks for watching. And goodbye.